Hey everybody, it's Tommy with Alderman Farms, Apiary, and Bee Sanctuary. <laughs> today is, um, what is today? Today is Friday, April the 17th, which means it's been 11 days since the bees took up residence in their new home here. This is a uh, a colony that I caught, a swarm that I caught at my friend Greg's house in a five-gallon bucket, caught most of them, <laughs> and then the rest of them caught themselves, so I can't really take credit for it. But anyway, I've already been inside this hive more times than I should. Uh, I can't help it. I'm fascinated with these bees, and I checked in there after about three days, and I was amazed at how much comb they had. I didn't know what I was looking for. I was looking for brood, and of course my friend Randy over at 628 Dirt Rooster Bees told me it takes them about 10 days before you should start seeing brood. So um, I was going to do this tomorrow, Saturday, April the 18th, and give them 12 days, but uh, something's come up with our schedule, so I'm not going to be here to do it. So I'm going to do it this afternoon. It's about 6 o'clock p.m. i still got plenty of daylight. Uh, it's overcast a little bit. Um, I've got my bee suit on, everything but my gloves, because I, I, you know, I'm, I've read that gloves get you stung because you can't feel. I started to wear some uh, latex gloves, and I don't know. We'll see. I may regret my decision, but I want to get in here, look at these frames, check for hive beetle population, small hive beetle, and see if we got some brood going on on day 11. So I've got my smoker over here. It seems to still be lit, so I'm going to move very slowly and deliberately. One of the things I've learned from Randy and others I watch on YouTube is that a lot of times you invite aggression by moving and sudden movements and, you know, shaking things around. So I don't want to do that. I can hear them buzzing. Temperature's about 75 degrees out here beautiful day um, let's see what you can see yep you can see where from the divider board over and if you watched our previous videos you saw I put some empty frames in here because my uh, divider board didn't fit as well right here as it did over here when I first put it in here when I first put it in I gave them too much space to defend I had too many frames in so I collapsed it down to one, two, three, four, five, six. I keep saying collapse. That's not a good word to use around beekeepers. So I've got six frames with uh, full of foundation in here. And then I got a divider board. And then I, I, I got one, two, three, four empty frames, no foundation or anything. And then the fifth one fit almost perfectly this way to hold those in place. I did have to put a little piece of pine bark right here. I think you can see that on the bottom of the video. Uh, but it's held in place nicely. I did come back and put some push pins in the bottom of the divider board. Because, you know, my first instinct which was wrong. And I had the divider board all the way down to the bottom. Um, and what I did was, uh, I saw this on Dr. Leo's site. I just used little push pins to stick up one over here, one over here for legs on the bottom of this to give a little bit of space so that the bees could run the small hive beetles out. Well, I'm disappointed and a little nervous because since I put those legs on there, I have not seen any small hive beetles over in this empty area. So I'm hoping that's good news. But I'm a little concerned it may be bad news that the small hive beetles, I may find a lot of small hive beetles in the hive as we start looking. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let me save my little piece of pine bark because that may come in handy again. And we'll take out these empty frames, which should, I don't expect them to have been propolized. And they haven't. I can get all of those in one swoop here. Alright, I just had a bee. I see the bees are coming out. They recognize something's happening, so let me give them a little bit of smoke. Alright, now let's see how tight. There's a hive beetle. I think I got that one. They seem to be 
gearing up in here. So let's see how this goes. It's hard to get that divider board out. It's such a it's a, it's because the box is not square. See what? I'm just going to move it to a point to give me some room to work. And then we'll start looking at frames. So I think that's going to sit right there. I can see where they've started propolizing it. And so we'll start with uh, frame number six. I got that, that smoker's coming right up in my nostrils. That feels pretty stuck together. Well, not too bad, just a little. So, progress has been made, as you can see, I think, from the last... Oops, I got a squished bee up there. Sorry about that, fellas. Don't hold it against me. Um, I don't see anything in these cells, but it could be because I'm half blind. But they are building cells... Lord, help me remember not to jerk around if I get stung on my hands. I don't want to freak out and cause a bigger calamity. All right, here we're looking at the other side. Same thing, quite a, quite a bit of uh, built out comb. I didn't expect to see anything capped here, and of course there wasn't. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I dropped that frame, and I think I had a couple of casualties over there. I sure didn't mean to do that. Now looking at this next frame, I can see even more development. These bees are getting loud. I hope that's not a terrible thing. Feels a little more stuck together. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I just realized I didn't see any small hive beetles on this frame on either side. So that's definitely good news. All right, this one feels heavy. Man, there is honey in this frame. Or should I say nectar at least. I can see uncapped honey or nectar at the very least. You probably can't tell by that. I'm going to try to zoom in at this point in editing. But down to about right here, uncapped honey or nectar. That is very encouraging. That's on the second to last frame. Let's see what we got on the other side. Try to set it down without squishing the bee. And I've got the same thing. Down to about right here, I'm seeing honey or uncapped nectar. So that's exciting that they are storing food all the way on the second to last frame. And I see, you know, similar activity on the next frame over, which we'll look at in just a moment. This is the worst part for me, putting these frames back down in here because the doggone bees are just 
It won't get out from under it. And I really don't want to kill them. Alright, so let's look at frame number four. They're not heavily propolized. They're not really propolized at all yet. I think it's just the weight of the frame. This one feels heavy. So I'm expecting to also see some uh, honey cells on here. Probably not capped. Boy, they've really built these out. All the way over here. Can you see that on the video? Where it comes around over here, they've got those pulled out farther, full of honey, uncapped honey or nectar. Let's see what we got on the other side. So Corey's standing out here watching me do this. So this is for Corey. Corey, if I happen to get stung on my hand and re and react badly, run. Like if I throw the frame down, run. I don't, I'm hoping that's not going to happen. Hey, you know what? I haven't seen a single uh, small hive beetle on this frame either. So that's awesome. I got bees crawling on my hand, but they seem to mean me no harm. So maybe they know I mean them no harm as well. All right, here we go again. Bees all over the side. I'm gonna try not to kill them. Please don't sting me as I'm lowering this down. Cause that would not be good. Now, how do I even know? I just know that bee, that bee's going to sting me on my hand. He didn't. Huh? Yeah, they just want to get there. Right underneath the lip. Okay, bee gurus, what do you do about this? I guess I need to smoke them. See if I can hold this without dropping them and get my smoker. Let's try that. That seems to be working, huh? That seemed to help. Now at least I don't have a whole congregation. Alright, so that's number three. I mean number four. I may actually... Uh, Well, I don't know. I thought about just not looking at every single one. Let me skip one. I'm really hoping to find some cat brood here on day 11 in the hive. So I'm going to go all the way over to the first frame because they really did, they started work on this first frame as soon as they were in this hive. So let's see what we can find over here on this first frame. It'd really be cool to see the queen, but I'm still too nervous to spend a lot of time looking for it because I'm just afraid I'm going to get lit up. And, um, you know, I'm sure that with practice, because I'm fascinated, I love being out here, 
and I come sit out here in short pants and flip flops. You know, it doesn't bother me to be around them, but they're disturbed right now. So I don't want them to be so disturbed that they light me up and I do something stupid. That's the main thing. I don't mind getting stung. Might help my arthritis in my fingers. Also, beekeepers, fellow beekeepers, tell me about these smokers because sometimes I'm afraid that the smoke is too hot for them. I mean, I'm feeling the heat coming off of this smoker. I got hay in there right now because that's what I had. But I surely don't want to scald the bees with the smoke. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. Well, I don't see any brood on that one. Maybe I skipped the one that it was on. Dog on it. There's a bee, a couple of bees that I have smushed before. I hate that. Give it a glance, see if I can see the queen anywhere. Boy, these bee suits do not go well with bifocals. Yeah, I don't see her on here, but that doesn't mean she's not there. Some of you may see her. We look on the other side. Hey, we're getting some capped honey. Look at here. They're starting to cap some honey. So I'm curious about, this is my first time to deal with these deep layings frames. They are continually drawing out. They're down about three quarters of the way up here. And it looks like they start drawing out at the top and they also start filling at the top. So at the top up here, they're starting to cap these off, which is good. But I was really hoping to find some cap brood. So let me, let me go backwards and look at the next... Uh, at the second frame. Oops. Really trying to be slow and deliberate. Here we go again with this mass of bees up at the top. So maybe this is the brood frame. I certainly hope that we're going to find some brood in here. Lots of bees. A lot of bees on this frame. There's honey at the top. Again, they've begun a little, they've, they're, you know, way more, more than three fourths of the way down, begun drawing out comb. Uh, they've got it drawn out pretty heavily about halfway down. There appears to be nectar turning into honey at the top. But you know, once again, I have not seen a single hive beetle on this frame. That is very encouraging. Oh, there's a high beetle and there's a high beetle. So I said I hadn't seen any and I saw two. Well, that makes me wonder if there's brood afoot. Let me come look on this other side. No brood here either. I don't remember how many uh, frames I've looked at, but there can't be can't be more than two left. I think maybe just one. All right, there's a hive beetle down in a hole. Can't get him out. 
I'll have to, that bee's trying to get him out. Get in there and get him, son. Get in there and get him. I mean, gal. Y'all see that right here? There's a high beetle in a cell, and the bee was trying to get it out of there, but it couldn't. The high beetle had hunkered down. All right, it's going to be hard to get this frame back in there because the bees are all up at the top. Like they have been. And it's always on that other side, it looks like. I kind of wiggled it on the last one and it seemed to work. It don't seem to be working. So, let me get my smoker. I need to build me a shelf out here. All right. Pretty sure I skipped over this one. A lot of bees. More honey at the top. But I have seen no brood cells. That's troublesome, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. I see several drones. There's a hive beetle. The bee is trying to keep it out of that cell, trying to knock it down. Get it off of there, baby. Get it off of there. Out a girl. Work it. Work it. Got it. Uh, lots of nectar. I see pollen, but I don't see any, you know, I don't think I see any eggs. Maybe I do, right here in the middle. I'm just blind as a bat. I can't really tell if that's what that is or not. I got to tell you, I'm very pleased at the low number of high beetles that I've seen. I have seen a few, but... Gosh, just, just a handful, but I'm extremely concerned that I haven't seen, to me, what looks like eggs, certainly no capped larva. Oh, sorry. That was almost terrible. I let it slip off the side of the hive there. And almost dropped it, which would not have been a good thing. It's like a bunch of them fell. Had a phone call there right in the middle of the video, so it stopped filming. All right, I think I've already looked at this frame right here, but I'm going to pull it out again because if I hadn't looked at it, it's my last hope to find brood I think I recognize it uh, there may be I don't know because I can't I just can't see well enough there may be a patch of eggs in here looks like I can see a little little dots in there but I'm just not I'm just not sure I'd feel a lot better if I could see the queen There's also just not very many bees on this frame. Good bit of pollen. There's a hive beetle. 
Well, the good news is I guess it gives me an excuse to come back in here <laughs> a little later. I really want to get to the point where I, I rarely disturb them. But I've got to know if I've got a queen that's laying or not, you know? I want you to come up. I want you to go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. I don't want to over smoke them, but I just want them to go down so I don't squish them. Go down. There we go. Alright, see if I can get this back. There's a high beetle. Got it. Can you see the uh, push tacks, thumb tacks? Push pins to allow a B space on the bottom, primarily to allow them to uh, push the hive beetles out. All right, well, there you saw it. There's some capped honey, uh, honey beginning to be capped. There's, uh, you know, a uh, Good amount, I guess, fair amount of uh, uncapped honey and nectar. I saw quite a bit of pollen. I didn't locate the queen, which I'm not really good at that anyway. Um, but I don't think I saw any eggs. I don't think I saw any cat. Well, I know I didn't see any cat brood. Um, I know there were a lot of bees on the frames over here toward the entrance, but I, I, I think I would have been able to see some cat brood. I don't think there were so many bees that they were hiding the combs to the point where I couldn't see any cat brood. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to have to, you guys, you more experienced beekeepers, let me know down in the comments, you know, what what's the deal? Am I more concerned than I should be? I'm pretty concerned. Um that I didn't see any larva or, or capped brood uh, at all after having been in there 11 days. Hey, maybe it's just too soon. Maybe we've had some cold weather. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm just inexperienced enough. I'm so inexperienced. I don't, what am I trying to say? I'm not experienced enough to know that if the 10 day rule of thumb can be affected by weather or what uh, to extend the period of time where I should be seeing cat brood. So day 11, no cat brood. No eggs that I could see for sure. There's a couple of spots on there that with my poor eyes, I could have been looking at little tiny eggs, but I'm just not sure. So let me know in the comments what you think, what your recommendations are. I think I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably try to hold off until, say, day 21, maybe even day 30. Give them a month. Uh, they obviously have enough room. Didn't need to. Don't need to be adding any frames. Maybe I got too many frames. Maybe I need to take one out. I'm not really sure. But the good news is a very small number of small hive beetles. Um, so I think they the bees are able to police that since I collapsed doggone it I keep saying that since I shrunk the size of the colony and shrunk the area that they need to patrol uh, so I'm happy about that and that also gives me reason to think I, I don't have to get in here again because that was two things I wanted to check small hive beetle population and whether or not there was cap brood uh, no cap brood and a manageable number of small hive beetles. So, good news and bad news, I suppose. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I look forward to hearing from hearing your comments in, or seeing your comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you're coming along on our journey here uh, with me. Give me a thumbs down if I just don't have a clue what I'm doing, which is accurate. And if you hadn't subscribed to our channel, I'd appreciate you doing that. Um, there's this, this video is going to be uh, in a playlist link 
with beginning beekeeper journey and and uh, maybe a couple of other playlists and so you ought to be seeing the links to those playlists right about now probably over here on this side of the screen uh, unless this is mirrored and then it'll be on this side but anyway wherever i'm pointing i think is where they'll be so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time at alderman farms apiary and bee sanctuary